All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is VMP here. Welcome back to a little more of the 108 Heroes mod. Uh, we have had a live stream since the last episode, and uh, we got a decent amount of work done. But uh, essentially, what we did during that was a lot of just uh, fighting <laughs> the different legendary heroes and uh, using our mind reading on them. Um, a few, a few major updates, I would say. One, we found one guy who uh, also apparently knew how to mind read, and uh, when we tried to use the skill on him, he he uh, he, <laughs> he hit us with the Uno reverse card and was like, "No, you," and uh, instead used mind reading on us and uh, ab absolutely shit upon us. Um, <laughs> and uh, afterwards, he he ended up telling us uh, that. So you know that book that we have, the uh, the wordless book. That is apparently one of only three books. There's two more that we need to get, uh, which actually makes sense because in our current book, we're only able to use mind reading on like 40 or some of the, uh, yeah, I think it's around 40 of the 108 heroes. Um, if we want to be able to get all 108 heroes, we need to uh, find the other two books. So I guess, I don't know how we do that quite yet, but uh, that is going to be down the road. We still have uh, so many heroes left to do on this first book. Shit, we've done maybe 10 of them so far out of the 40. It's gonna take a while. Oh, hello. That guy looks decent. Yeah, you're gonna get a bow. <laughs> oh my god, he's tanky. Wang Jin, huh? Um, I also, thanks to you guys in the comments, you guys told me how we can actually recruit and get the heroes that we've been beating into our party. And apparently, to do that, they have to be a part of your faction. Um, so, that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be joining a faction here. Um, currently, you know, as, as you can see, obviously, we're doing a tournament because uh, we need to make some money, man. These heroes that we've been recruiting are, are freaking expansive. Um, I got, didn't feel like he really got stunned much from that hit. Oh, shit, he's turning at me. I think this is actually, like, a decent hero, so I'm not trying to fuck with him too much. I'm gonna play it safe. Is that our hero right there? Is that 10 feet of blue? No, Hua Boyan. Baoyan. Wait, is that our hero? I can't tell. What's... I don't remember what Ten Feet of Blue's actual name is. Well, <laughs> GG. <laughs> that was uh, easier than expected. Nice, a little AK. Okay, that's huge. That's huge. Because uh, we were down to, what, 4K at some point? Below 4K, apparently? That's really nice. So anyhow, today we're going to be joining a faction so we can actually start recruiting some of these lords. Uh, and none other than Jade Keelan. I didn't even realize we've fought with him a couple times so far. He's actually the ruler of the Huns. And so I want to join them. Uh, one, because they're the best cavalry faction in the game. And even though we can't recruit the cavalry troops, um, I don't want to go up against them on the field of battle. So I'd like to choose him. Also, we haven't actually uh, done too many of the vassals from Hun so far. We've only done one, uh, Blue-Faced Beast. So we got a lot of a lot of battles ahead of us to recruit these guys, and that's what we're going to be trying to do this episode. So anyhow, let's uh, let's let's come talk to him here. Uh, my lord, I've come to offer you my sword and vassalage. Yes, all right. So this is just the normal shit. Mm -hmm. Lawful ruler of the Huns. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Cool, cool. All right, so we are at war with Liao now. Uh, who the fuck are those guys? <laughs> I don't even know the different factions. Zhao, Sha, Lang, uh, Lang Shang, Liao. Nope, that's Wu. Song. Chu. What the fuck? Who the fuck is Liao? Are these guys? Oh, the red ones, all the way over here. Dude, they're like in almost, almost in fucking Korea. What the hell? All right. Well, we're not too concerned with them. Uh, what we are concerned about is trying to... Oh my god, you need to bring at least 12 troops. Oof, we don't have 12 troops. Uh, we need to get some heroes ASAP in order to get us to 12 troops. In fact, I, I'll be honest, I don't even know if our own heroes even count towards that. So we might just automatically fail all these, like, reporting to the Marshall missions. Which kind of sucks. <laughs> um, so Chen Da, the Marshall, is he actually... Let me see here. He is actually one of the guys that we could uh, try to get. All right, where's he at? How close is he? Liu Chengxin, huh? All the way over here? All right, fuck it, man. We'll go check that out. See if we can't run into him. 
Uh, but yeah, so we're going to try to recruit these guys and get them into our party. I don't know what... So here's the thing that I'm not sure what's going to happen with that. Is like, if we get them into our party, does that then mean that they are no longer running around on the field of battle? In which case, what if we were to recruit, you know... I mean, there's a lot of vassals here, but if we were to recruit like eight of these guys and bring them into our party, then all of a sudden we've only got, you know, maybe like six or seven vassals actually running around and our faction is way weaker. Like, am I crazy for thinking that, like, that's potentially what might happen here? Who are you? Can I mind control you? I cannot. Hmm. Um, uh, well, can you at least tell me where the, uh, the one dude is? Stream Leaping Tiger. Close to Neetushin. Interesting. Thank you for your... Oh, okay, over here. So he's pretty close. Who? I don't know. What the fuck? Close to Neetushin. All right. Uh, okay, so he's got a couple guys with him here. Oh, I know this guy for sure you can also mind read. I remember his name. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised some of these other guys you can as well. Alright, let's try to fucking win this battle. Uh, not yet. Give me some time. <laughs> if I can recruit you, that would help significantly. I can't even recruit him right now because he's just like, Don't even come back to me unless you have more troops. Alright, fine. Be that way. We'll go for this guy right now. Oh, we get a banner. Yes. Uh, I don't remember what Ulrich's banner has been in past seasons. Um, I mean, let's, let's look through it. I, th I feel like, you know, sometimes you just know. When you see it, you know. Ooh, that one looks pretty badass. I'm not even going to lie. That one looks really fucking nice. I don't know if that's Ulrich's style necessarily, but I still like that one. That's pretty cool. I don't know what that means. Um... <laughs> all right, I can see that. Just a knight on a horseback with a lance. All right, all right. I can see that one. I feel like that... Ooh, and this one looks pretty cool, too. I kind of like this one. No, fuck. I like this one. We'll quick go through the other ones, but I'm pretty sure that one's going to be it. Mm. I haven't really seen anything that sticks out here. A lot of these are just the generic ones. Okay, so here's, here are some new ones. Here's some... Uh, Decent Asian ones. Maybe we should go with, with uh, one of the Asian ones. Ooh, I like this one. Hmm. Or even that wall. No, that one's cool. That one's fucking cool. We're going with that one. All right, cool. Um, What do we got here? Who are we, who are we doing here? You. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mind reading. All right, should, we should probably look who this guy is first. Uh, all right, his special skill, reduce 50% damage, strength, and self in the duel. All right. He's 48th. Okay, so he's, he's pretty decent. Uh, he's The novel describes him as a tall and muscular man who walks at a fast pace. He is a highly skilled, or he is highly skilled in martial arts, renowned for his ability to catch projectiles in mid-flight with his bare hands. Holy shit. What a legend. All right, let's see how this goes. Yikes, 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 yikes. All right, are they all these guys? I don't know. There's one archer here. All right, good. Took care of her. And we still have above 50 HP. Oh, this person is throwing rocks. Is this featherless arrow? Is this that motherfucker again? This is the only weapon we have, by the way, so. He's just faster than us. This horse is faster than us. We have to, like, wait for him to run out of rocks or some shit. We need to get on his other side. I don't want him to hit us with those rocks, man. I really don't. And I know he... I, I'm pretty sure he gets like 50 rocks in his quiver, so I'm not... He's not going to run out of those anytime soon. Our best shot is if he were to run into a wall or some shit. Oh, there we go. <laughs> like so, but unfortunately we weren't nearly close enough in order to take advantage of that. I feel like this could take a while. Oh, no, I don't like that. I don't like that. Get out of there, get out of there. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. Zubao, that was not... Okay, that's not who I thought it was. The fuck, you weren't even, like, trying to block that right away. Oh, shit. Alright, actually, no, we want to lose this one now. We're below 50% HP. Damn it. Alright, well... I'll have to come back and try that again. Alright, we are back one day later. Let's try this one again. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 
This one is definitely winnable. It's 100% winnable. Like, I'm not... I'm not too worried about this one. There's some that I know are just gonna take fucking... Oh, that's 10 feet of blue! I didn't realize she was, uh... She was the archer in this one. Alright, we're getting close to this guy. He's gonna run to the wall here. Boom. Yes. That's how we do it. Nice. Another one down. Fuck your horse. Bring it back. Take out his horse as well. This is where we need to be careful. This is where we need to be very careful. Ooh, 89 damage. Good shot. Good shot in there. Actually, I might just pick up here. Hold up. What is your what are your stats here? E, no power draw. So he's not gonna be able to use the one chick's uh, weapon. Her bow. That's unfortunate. Uh, could use this guy's podeo thing or glaive thing here. What is this? Nope. Nope. Motherfucker, I hate that shit, man. God damn it. Let me just pick up the weapon. There needs to be like a different key to pick up the weapon than there is to dismount the horse. Alright. There should just be a key, a set key to dismount the horse, period. Alright, get rid of this thing. What? That horse just... <laughs> tank damage from a... Tank a hit from this legendary hero? Interesting. What? It's an immortal horse. Alright. Alright, man. Hmm. Well, this just got a little more, uh... Interesting. What we gotta do here is... Bait out the shot, and then hit him. Only 20 damage. Come on, man. You better than that. Oh, there you go. Horse got out the way. I'm really scared about... Getting dismounted here. Uh, there we go. Boom. We got it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's a lot better. That's a lot better. Alright. Now we should be able to do a little something like... Alright, it doesn't crush through blocks, unfortunately. We have picked up a couple of the ones that do do shit like that. Boom, 52. Nice. Alright, so these guys are pretty tanky. We actually have to kind of take them seriously here, but... We're in a lot better shape now than we were before with this thing. He's actually got a, almost like a copy of what we got. Nice. 78. Dude, wow, these guys have a ton of HP. Come on. Oh, yeah, 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 I know that one. I know that was a mistake. All right. At least we're tanky. We only took 15 damage there somehow. There we go. Seven, another 74. Go to sleep. <laughs> go the fuck to sleep, man. Another 68. This is all on the same guy. How much HP does this man have? 93. What? We've done, I mean, like well over 200 damage to him now, right? Well over 300 damage. He won't fucking die. Christ, I'm glad I went for this instead of just like trying to like take him out with the uh, with the spear. That would have taken so much longer. Because at least with this thing, it's a lot easier for us to get hits. It just... Ooh, fuck, fuck, fuck. It's a lot easier for us to get hits with this thing. With a spear, it takes... I don't know. And part of it is just with a spear. I'm not as experienced with it. 94... I mean, that was on the other guy, so he's he probably still has a decent amount of HP left. 59. I mean... Guys, I've done so much damage to them at this point. <laughs> uh, how much HP does this guy have? 117. Why are they so tanky? Can I get a counter? Can one of you guys, like, go through and, like, actually see how much damage we had to do to knock that guy out? What the absolute fuck? What's that guy's name? Iron Staff, huh? Alright, 62. Wait, this is still the guy that we've done the most of our damage to, and he's still alive. Boom. Zoo Long, man. What a fucking tank. There you go. Contribution increased by 9. What is contribution? What's that? All right, long lance, nice, thank you, cool. Uh, okay. Something I would like to discuss with you in private, no. All right, so supposedly now, we should be able to get to recruit them into our party, I think. He is, oh, but I think we can only recruit ship, or we can only recruit people of the same nature as us into our party, that's the problem. Hmm, damn it. 
It is actually kind of annoying. All right. Well, what about the stream leaping tiger? Because I know we can do mind reading on him. Uh, he is courage. So we should actually be able to recruit him into our party. All right. Well, we'll just wait another day. Um, I did. I'm not going to lie. I uh, recruited like seven like villagers and then came in and just said, hey, I'm here with the troops. And he was like, cool. Thank you. You have 12 troops. It wasn't a it wasn't a tall order. I wasn't asking for a lot. And we we're like, yep, I totally have 12 troops. And then as soon as he left, I got rid of the villagers. So we're basically <laughs> we, we talked about this during the live stream. Something that I hadn't really considered is what are we going to do when we're eventually owning like towns and castles and stuff? What are we going to do about the garrisons? Um, and because we can't just leave the garrison empty on our towns. We're going to have to have some troops. And so I think what we're going to do is we're going to be allowed to recruit troops like from prisoner parties, stuff like that. Um, it's just we're not allowed to fight with anyone except heroes. So as soon as we recruit troops, we need to put them away in a garrison or get rid of them is uh, what I'm thinking. Oh, here we go. Contribution increase. I don't know what this whole contribution thing is. Um, that's fine. All right. Stream leaping tiger. I'm still waiting. We got probably another like 12 hours or so. Let's see what he's what he's got for us. Oh, whoops. Hold up. It's very convenient to just be able to follow him around. And he scares away all the bandits too. <laughs> can I just can I just stay with you? <laughs> it's a lot it's a lot better. And there we go. We're ready. Ooh, who is he fighting? Oh, these guys do hate the Dajin Knights. Ah. Ooh, this would be a pretty fun fight, I feel like. Iron Pagoda Knights. Wow, these guys are going to be pretty fucking tanky, I feel like. Maybe we shouldn't, just because I'm not trying to lose my HP. I'm at 100%. Yeah, tell you what, I'll just watch. You guys are doing great, champs. You guys are doing fucking great. Shit. Jin Infantry? If it's just infantry, we should be able to fuck these guys up. Yeah, send out a dual request. Let's do this thing. Uh, by the way, I haven't showed it yet, but we do actually have uh, three new heroes from the last live stream. We have... Um, let me pull this up here real quick. I've been starting to write them all down. Got Jason Kemp. Uh, we have Vin. And then we have... Uh, someone wanted Cerny Banders, but it's not spelled like the Cerny Banders from our Nova Ada series. It's like his long-lost Asian cousin or some shit like that. Um, so, found out, I found that pretty interesting. Good try, good try. Wait, what? Why were you charging in? During the duel. Isn't that not allowed? I thought both sides, like, their troops are just supposed to stay back during the duels. These guys are actually decently, um, tanky. And their shields are pretty big, too. Not big enough to stop that headshot, but still decently large. Oh, she's fucked. Wang, you're, you're fucked here. Honestly, I don't know how Wang does as good as she does. She has fairly, like, mediocre stats. Especially compared to our other heroes. But yet, she's, like, number two in kills right now, I think. I do think she'll be surpassed by 10 feet of blue relatively soon, because 10 feet of blue is amazing. Um, and then obviously True Wang is in first place. She's she's pretty good too, and she's been with us for longer. Oh, there she goes. See, that's one. Ooh, and she got fucked up. All right, well, should have been talking her up that much. Where's my other hero? What are you doing? Is he running away? Is that one of my heroes straight up just running away? Are you kidding me? Pathetic. Where's the faith? You guys don't die? And I do all the work anyways. Why are you running away? Look at this. Still scared? Okay, now he's coming back. Uh-huh. Yeah. Pathetic. There we go, baby. Yeah, those infantry actually weren't too bad. They're fairly decent, but they weren't ranged. Therefore, they couldn't kill us. 25 kills for us. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Yo, that's a big upgrade for us. I've, I'll be honest. I didn't even realize that we're still using cavalry boots. Uh, Masterwork Long Lance, huh? 
All right. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Uh, I'm going to have to put that to use some more. Oh, yeah, and then we got this spear. We got this legendary spear that I've been using. Actually, I should probably use that more often in these uh, battles against kind of weaker opponents. Um, but, yeah, so we've... You, we need 100 kills in order to level up. We already have 36. Um, inc oh, ooh, I don't like that first stat that it got. Uh, or the, the first perk that it got. Infantry champion increased damage while on foot by 8%. We don't, we're not on foot most of the time. E e that's kind of awkward. That's yeah, kind of awkward. All right. Keep it up, boys. Keep it up. Actually, wait. I don't know why I was concerned about losing health. Because of the mind-reading battles, it actually doesn't matter. Huh. All right. Well. How good is this guy again? He's 72nd. How's he the marshal? He's not even that great. What are we looking at here? Okay. All right, well, no ranged guys. It is a 3v1, but there's... None of these guys are ranged, so we don't mind that too much. Block me. Mm, should I dehorse them? I think that might be the move. At least that guy. That guy has hella range. All right, his horse is hurt. Fuck. Well, this is a fat rip. Dude. Okay. Shi Jin! It's always Shi Jin, goddammit. Alright, 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 alright. I'm gonna be back in a little bit. Holy fuck, we're making bank off of the, uh, the town we were given. 5k a week! Whew. All right, attempt numero dos. This one is for sure winnable. This one is for sure winnable. That I'm not concerned about. Boom, taking out Shijin right off the bat. That's big. That's big. Take out his horse. Yeah, that guy I'm not too worried about, especially now that he's on foot. We can easily take him out with the spear when it comes down to this guy. A little more concerned about. A little more concerned about. To be honest, if he was the first guy we took out, that would almost be better just so we can pick up his uh, his glaive. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Alright, risky move here. Paid out. Alright, good, good. Huh, what's the best way to deal with that guy? Maybe we should just focus on killing the, uh, the sword guy first. Pick up Shi Jin's little thing here. That's not useful from horseback, though. Is it? I mean, we can swing it. It just... Ah. And it is... Wow, that thing is fast. That thing is incredibly fast. Oh, 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 oh man. <laughs> Shi Jin, no wonder he absolutely claps. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. We just missed, but that was it. That was it right there. No wonder Shi Jin claps us every time. This thing is great. Really? Fucking parried us, huh? Alright, mate. There we go. 57 damage. Not bad, not bad. I feel like this guy's gonna be tanky. Like, he's gonna have a ton of HP. Ooh. That was weird. He, like, didn't notice us for a long time. How does that not hit? So that is the one problem with this thing, is it does not have a lot of reach. There we go, another 57. Alright, he's hurting. He's hurting. We know that. Another 33. I think it crushes through blocks, too. Because I'm pretty sure he got the block up there. So the only way to block it is to parry. That was risky. Hit him, though. Last one. Maybe. Potentially. Mm. He's learning. Seriously, how much HP does some of these guys have? I mean, this guy is not nearly as egregious as the last duel that we did. Or at least not yet. <laughs> um, but man. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. These duels have gotten a lot easier since I realized you can just pick up the OP weapons of the guys that you knock out. Mm -mm. 
son of a bitch. So, it is also worth uh, pointing out. Um, we, it's not like... So, you know how we saw... Er there we go. It's, it's not like we can't ever recruit those chivalrous heroes into our party. We just need a ton more relation with them in order to get that to work. Like, I don't know how much it is. You might need like a hundred... Um, but it is possible. I want to I wanna point that out. No! No, 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 no! You did not just crash after I won! Okay, so thankfully, since we actually finished the battle, it auto-saved. So we didn't lose out on the battle. But for some reason now, whenever we go to talk to him, is it going to crash again? No. Okay. Alright, that worked out. Ooh, agility increased by one. Fuck yeah! Hell yeah, it did. Uh, alright. Cool. So hold up. If we talk to him again now. Alright, now I'm confused. Because he's in the same same faction as us. We both have the same nature, courage, right? That's that's what our, our one is, right? Oh no, we are chivalrous. Oh shit, my bad. Alright, I don't know why I've been talking to you. Uh, so hold on, I needed to go go back and talk to the one golden guy, because he was chivalrous. Fuck, how do I find him again? Gold Lancer, you're not it. Hmm. Comparable to Rangi. <laughs> uh, when we talked to the golden guy after we uh, we successfully did his mind reading thing, though, we didn't get the... Uh, there doesn't seem to be a prompt to get them to join our side. That's what I'm confused about. But uh, maybe I just didn't check again. So uh, let's go back. We'll go back and talk to the one guy again. What's his name? Golden. Where's he at? Is he in here somewhere? Am I crazy? Did we not just... What? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, ping. All right, he's close to that one. All right. Hmm. Okay. Well, so what? I'm going to go try to find him down find and track him down and uh we will uh actually wait hold up if he's just still chilling around here it might be easy no he's not here all right i'll be back in a sec all right we are doing a little tournament right now unfortunately it seems like uh golden boy we're not gonna be able to recruit him at least for the time being there we go that was a big kill for us there all right let's craft this archer nice all right we're into the next round but yeah, we can't recruit him right now. Um, there's just no option in the dialogue, at least. I don't know if we, we're supposed to be doing something else to recruit this guy. Um, my theory is that we just need more relationship with him. We're only at a... Uh, we're only at like a 40-something with him right now. Because I did do a quest for him. But uh, yeah, I think we just need more than that in order to actually get them to join us. Uh, these, these are the worst fucking lances in the game, man. These things do nothing when you hit someone. Like, look, full speed here. Alright, well, I missed. Not exactly helping my point here. They're just so slow. And I feel like they don't do anything when you hit people. Um, so, I don't know, I'm, I'm working on that. I'm trying to do quests for them. Let's see if we can't get the relationship up to, like, a, a 50 or something like that with them. And then maybe, uh... Maybe I should just pick up a sword. Is there a sword laying around here? There we go. Yeah, that's much better. <laughs> Actually, against these guys, since they're on foot, it probably would be best just to use a lance. But yeah, if we get our relationship up with them to like a, a 60, a 70, something like that, maybe then we'll be able to actually get them to join us. Because, um, I mean, he, once again, we're the same personality type. Um, so I don't know why... I, I, I don't know why he's not joining us. Boom. See, that only does 70 damage. A full-speed couch lance... 70 damage, man. That's just... It's pathetic. It's pathetic. Oof, that guy looks... Kind of, uh, decent. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I want to do that again. I feel like he might one-tap our horse. Ooh, blue-faced beast. Yeah, he probably could. He probably could. Alright, there we go. Good stuff. We're in the next round. What are we, what are we on here? 2-4? Alright, we're getting there. We're getting there. Four teams of two... Alright, nice. We got a lance again. I don't like those archers, but I do like the lance. <gasps> Yikes. Wait, I didn't even kill him? Are you joking me? Oh. Go fuck yourselves. Go fuck yourselves. That The lance... Mmm, those lances suck dick. 
<laughs> They're so bad. That is truly impressive how awful those lances are. All right, let me do at least, like, do a mind reading or some shit. <laughs> Who in here? This guy, I'm pretty sure. Uh, maybe? Do we already do this guy? Multicolored tiger? Maybe I already did that guy. What about you? Oh, maybe we just can't do it at feasts. Hmm. That also could be the case. Yeah, little Yuchi is definitely a guy we could... We're supposed to be able to do it with... Wait, <laughs> that came out wrong. <laughs> uh, I think we need to wait for them to leave the, the, the feast. Alright. Uh, I guess I'll wait for that. Alright, so there's day two of the tournament now. And uh, we actually get to use our own equipment for some reason. Uh, not... Hmm, very happy about that. Not complaining at all, don't get me wrong. <gasps> it's Rake Man! Oh no, that's just a Han recruit. Never mind. That was not Rake Man from the, uh, from the live stream yesterday. <laughs> the Gardener. Alright, alright, alright. Actually, wait, we're into the next round already. I don't know why I'm bothering doing this. Holy fuck, this guy had tanks. Two headshots. Wasn't enough, huh? There you go. That's enough. Oof. You missed me, though, son. You missed me. And that's a mistake. Alright, GG's. Next round. Should actually be able to win this one. With our own equipment. I feel fairly confident about that. And then uh, the mind reading. Ooh, hello, fuck. Did not hear that guy behind us at all. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, then the mind reading actually came back. I forgot I uh, lost one the day previous. And so that's why we weren't able to ask any of the lords at the feast. If they uh, wanted to do something like that. Jesus, felt like I barely did anything there. Panky's popping off. General of the Heavenly Vision. Good for you, man. Good for you. It might have actually been strategy for us to lose the first day, because now, when we win the second day, our bets are actually, I think, I think the, the uh, bookies are giving us better odds here since we got beat on the first day. They don't think we're going to win the second day now. I don't know if that's actually true. We should be, should be able to actually see if and when we win this, how much we make. If it's more than 8k, then that was the case. Or more than, like, I think 7,900? Something like that. Die! <laughs> Go to sleep, panther head. Alright, 1v1. That was kind of risky to go for his horse like that when he was charging at us. Whoa, we only do 14 to the body to him and only 50 to the head? Penky, huh? Damn, I kind of want to recruit him. Is he one of the guys that we can try to recruit right now? Yeah, we did get more money for that. We got 9k for winning that one. Cool. Are there any ladies in here I can flirt with? Mm, not really. <laughs> not really. Ooh, this guy. All right, can I? Oh, he's chivalrous. That's a good sign. That's your service. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, he, we can't mind read with him, unfortunately. Damn it. Mm -hmm. Still can't do anything with you, right? Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I didn't think so. Huh. Yeah, that's too bad. Okay. Who? Iron Flute Deity. Can I do it with you? Oh, we can. All right. I want to see what this guy has. All right. Come on. What do you got? Alright, he gets a sword and a sun sword. Alright, and who's he going up against here? One guy on foot. Wow, this is a very short cleaver that he has. I don't know if I like that. Is this... Wait. Oh, fuck, we got a fucking archer on our hands. No. Go away. <laughs> no one likes you. Oh. Oh, that was who? That was 10 feet of blue. Wow. Just absolutely fucked her life up. Wow, this is... Uh, this sword is very short. I mean, he makes up with it for his speed, I guess, but like... I don't like our odds against some of these guys. Do you have any horse archery? You do not. I can give you horse archery, though. 
what is... I wonder what the power draw is on whose bow. Mm, I don't think we can pick it up. I think the power draw is too much. Alright, let me dehorse these guys. There we go. Just one more. Honestly, I'll take any of their weapons that they're, they've got currently. Holy shit, that, that's a cool looking glaive. Is that even a glaive? If over half of it is just a blade, that's almost that's basically just like a a scimitar. Like the the bastard child of a scimitar and a glaive is what that kind of looks like. There we go. Alright, both down. I, I mean, yeah, I just want one of their weapons that has a little more range. Nice, 73 damage. He's hurting. He has a spear. That's not the guy we actually want to really be targeting to pick up his weapon. Hmm. Hmm. This is the awkward stage. We gotta really play it carefully and make sure we're not getting ahead of ourselves. Alright, come on. Nice. There we go. Just like that. The Jade Flagpole. Alright. That's what they call it? The bastard son of a, a scimitar and a glaive is a, is a flagpole. Interesting. We'll take it. What? Come on. Let me pick that shit up. It's there. We can pick that up. Just need these guys to give me some time. Alright, come on. Over here, lads. Thank you very much. I swear, if we dismount again, I'm going to break something. Lictor Padeo. Alright. Yeah, this has substantially more range. I like this a lot better. Oof. Does not do nearly as much damage. Only 34 damage there. 50. Alright. Well, it probably makes sense since I'm sure he's got a ton of pole arms. Actually, no, he has a ton of two hand proficiency too. He should be good at both of them. Mm. Nice. They gotta be getting low, right? We've been doing work on them. Another 57. I swear sometimes it feels like these heroes heal during this battle. Like that's the, <laughs> that's another theory that I have that's going on currently. I feel like these heroes heal over time, like they regen. Because sometimes I'll one tap a hero by doing like 150 damage to them and they'll go down in one hit. Other times that same exact hero in that same exact duel they stay alive after I've hit them for like 300 damage over the course of like 5 hits. You know what I mean? So I feel like maybe they just regen and the way to do it is to one tap them. But unfortunately, I mean, this guy's not really powerful enough to one tap them. He, don't, he doesn't have the weapon for that. Like these guys, look, they've tanked at this point probably like 200 damage a piece. They don't have that many hit points by themselves normally. No, 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 no. Oh, not like that. Don't let me lose this battle like that. There we go, 100 damage. Shit, where was that 100 damage before, son? What do you mean? And there's 62. See, this guy is like, I don't know. It just feels like the, the hit points they get are just random. Like a random number, be somewhere between like, you know, like 100... And like, 800. <laughs> they just get assigned randomly at the beginning of the battle. And you never know what which one you're going to get. Alright, there we go. That was a good win. Right, let's talk to Ma Lin real quick. Hit him back up. What you got for me? Sun Sword and a Moon Sword. Wow. We're moving up in the world. Uh, Alright, so our relationship with him is now 30. So what if I were to do this, these duels a ton? What if I were to do these duels a ton and grind a bunch of relationship with them that way? Would that work? Does that work? How often can we do these duels is also probably important. So we get three relationship per time we do a duel. Shit, that might be a quicker way to grind relationship with these guys than to... Uh... Hmm to do quests for them. That's what I'm thinking. I'm not sure. Let's check out what this uh, weapon was. Oh, so the moon sword was the sword that he uses. A special weapon. Alright. 
what do we get stats wise when we equip that we already have a sun a sun sword that's identical what do we get when we equip this thing contribution increases by 28 yeah but what does this moon sword give us one hand increased by 25 agility by two charisma by one eh. i mean that's decent uh i think that's going to be good for one of our heroes though who should we give this to one of our new guys I'm thinking uh, maybe Jason Kemp or full send I feel like full send needs a good weapon he needs something cool there you go full send you take this and you take the sun sword and you fuck shit up with those things okay there you go uh, Jason Kemp I'll tell you what we'll do for you though because you already have a long sword arguably the long sword even though it's not legendary is better than that little you know moon sword uh, we will give you that, though. How does that work? Or maybe we should give that to Sardy Banders. I don't know. He's using, he's using a good long lance. In fact, no, I'm not going to give him my Masterwork one. We're keeping that. <laughs> We're keeping that for the time being. Uh, tell you what we will do, though. Um, let's get... In, let's get a... Uh... Wow, that actually helped uh, him out a ton. <laughs> His full send stats just got really increased. Um, let's talk to the Guildmaster here and actually get some land. So how much would a die works make me? Ooh, 47 a week. Hell no. Alright, Weavery? 32? What the fuck is this shit? Alright, 252. That's better. Still not great. 358. Alright, and that only costs us 3,500. Oh, we can make back our money real quick with that one. That's negative. That's negative. 190, 190, 174. All right, I guess we'll get a uh, Ironworks. That's really not too bad. Only you have to invest 3,500, get 350 a week, pay pay itself back in 10 weeks. That's not too bad at all. It actually works out pretty well. All right, I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap this one up here. Uh, I have a lot of grinding to do. If I'm gonna be honest, um, I might sit here and uh, is the Golden Guy here? Is Golden Boy here? Gold Lancer. I'm not seeing the other guy. What's his fucking name? I feel bad. I'm forgetting his name now. Upeng. Golden Golden Wings Brushing Against the Clouds. How could I forget that name? Upeng. Upeng's not here. That's too bad. Um, so I might then with either... Yeah, I mean, the guy we just took out, actually. Why don't we... What was he? Was that General of the Hundred Victories? Ah, one of the generals. Why don't we try to uh, just duel him a bunch of times, get our relationship up to like 60 or 70, and uh, see if that allows us to recruit him. I think that's the move. All right, I have dueled every single hero in here, uh, except for this guy. He's the last one. Unfortunately, you can only duel them once or twice before uh, basically they tell you, like here, I'll show you this. I have not recovered from the last wound yet. Don't take advantage of me. So, yeah, unfortunately, this is not quite the way that uh, I thought it would go. I didn't, we're not, we're not allowed to just grind them, you know, down to oblivion and get unlimited relationship with them that way. So, uh, but this is still, you know, decently useful. We just got three relationship with essentially every lord in the faction, and it wasn't even that difficult, really. Um, so, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh... Let me know in the comments, those of you who have played this mod, what am I missing? What? Are, how do we How do we recruit these lords? Is it kind of like what I thought, where um, we just need more relationship with them? Or, uh, or, is, or am I missing some part of the quest? I, I'm not really sure. But anyways, as always, take it easy, lads.